What's going on guys, it's your boy RGV Savage and today we got the whole Mini Tin collection of Pokemon Go to open if I'm not mistaken it's five of them and we got this pack from the gas station this was like seven dollars so I just wanted to test my luck I was actually gonna open it in the car so I'm still giving that car luck I believe I mean technically I bought it so the luck is already there you know the pack is chosen the cards inside the canteen unless the Pokemon gods somehow change it right? let's go ahead and start off with this pack to warm us up right here start us up and then we'll go ahead and just open this whole set and try to do the art right here in the table so we can see I, mean, I don't think I've ever showed you guys but I got this playmat right here it's my girlfriend's the Eevee from that Pokemon Go set we got the tins right there we got the hits right there. We got Bidiv, Dragonite, Charizard V. We got some over here, Ditto from Fossil, if I'm not mistaken. But let's start off with this. Let me know. I know I keep saying my next video is going to be me showing all my cards in my collection. It's coming. We got that ring again for that magic. Brought us magic last video. It's about to give us right here a Charizard. Hopefully we get that. This was from a booster box. First pack that I get from a booster box actually. One, two, three, four. Even if I get a trainer right here. If I get nothing, well shit, for seven dollars. Ooh, we got that. Fire for that Charizard now. Friends and Galar. Weevil. Got that fracture. Starly. Spirit Tomb, Purloin, Milsery, Shinix, Baby Shinix, Magma Baz, and Hiding. Oh, we got a freaking non hollow for seven bucks, brother. Goddamn, never again. Just wanted to t test my luck, you know. Never really bought in a gas station pack, so. And first and last. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and start us off. I feel it's only right that we start off finish with the magic card because I feel like that's the odd one everybody always wants to see. There's Snornax, the Pikachu, and the Eevee. And this one's kind of odd too. So we're going to leave the magic card. I forgot what, I think this one's Chansey if I'm not mistaken. I'm probably wrong. But let's start off with the Eevee because everyone starts off with the Eevee. I actually got the, all the left side of the, the packs and I heard that's where the hits hit. We're about to test that theory to see if it's true. But look at this. Satisfaction of opening these packs. The little plastic thing that it comes with. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, never mind. This you got <laughs> You can never open it the way you want to. With these things. Why do they even put this freaking little line right here if it doesn't even work? Anyways, let's just rip through this bad boy. Let's show the coin. They switched it up. Check it out. We got Pikachu giving us his back. Sad boy. A very beautiful car with Eevee in the background and Ditto's cousin. Look at this. We're going to put it at the end all together to see the art it, come, it makes. So I'm going to put this on the side right here. Here's some codes. You guys could scan that. Got, it comes with two packs, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and start off. I was thinking of opening all of them and just taking the packs out. Should I just do that? I think I am gonna do that. Put these packs right here, open every 10 to make it much faster as we go. So, let me go ahead and open all that and then I'll show you guys all the, all the, all the arts. And there you have it. That is the full art, magic art, Eevee, Glizzy, if I'm not mistaken, Pikachu and the Snorlax. Wow, it looks really beautiful. I would frame that. <laughs> but anyways, we got all the packs there ready to go. So let's start opening. So we got all the packs here. I'm going to go ahead and place them like that. Let's start off with this first pack right here. Just going to keep going. As we go, try to see what comes up, talk about it more, 
when did you first start collecting Pokemon cards? And what got you into it? I'm doing a little Q&A to myself. But you guys are more than welcome to answer those questions in the comments as well. I started Pokemon since I was little. But unfortunately, part of my family was really religious where they... It was kind of that era when Pokemon was seen as like, oh, it's part of the devil and this and that. So they kind of brainwashed my parents into saying, you know, that this stuff is bad. And I was like probably like six or five and they threw everything away. I had so many cards. Everything was thrown away. And that's when I got into it. But ooh, we got that Blastoise. I started getting back into it, I guess, when quarantine hit. I feel like that's when everyone kind of started getting back into it. Quarantine hit and started watching Leon Hard. And then from there, my boy Pokey Rev kind of changed it up, the scenario. I really like his videos. And then Breaking Nate. I really like the way that they just go to the store. Breaking Nate is unique because he goes to the store and vlogs. That's what I like about him. Leon Hart, no offense, but I started I stopped watching him. I don't know, I just kind of drifted apart from that, and I really liked Pokey Ref's more aspect of the way he's more enthusiastic about it, you know. It's more like, more on the chill side, I guess you can say. Anyways, let's get right into these other packs. Um, and I guess that's what I'm trying to do here, just not really make try to be entertaining about it but just kind of enjoy the opening you know just kind of like collect it for myself I might as well just record my luck and as you can see it's not been so good but this video is gonna change <laughs> it's gonna change everything got that water energy but yeah really just searching for cards and I feel like I mean you can buy them individually but nothing beats you pulling it yourself even though you spend thousands of dollars in them um i feel like nothing really beats you actually pulling it and like that kind of like wow i actually pulled that you know but i mean by all means sometimes it's cheaper to just buy the card itself rather than invest into it but i just love opening packs itself you know i guess you could use it as as a daily life kind of thing you know, like some packs are just like this, you know, just a hollow or nothing good. And your day could be like that, you know, sometimes you're not granted a good day. Sometimes you don't know how your day it might be. Maybe you just might not pull a hollow that day. But there's days where you guarantee the promo or you, or you just get an alternative or, you know, sometimes you have an amazing day. That's just how it is. I like to see it that way. And today we're gonna pull that Charizard and not we're still getting to open cards, you know, like every day is like a pack of cards. You still might not get something good, but you continue to buy them. You gotta see it in that perspective. So we got that tranquil chilling in the roof. What is that? I think those are his leaves or something. Got that Charmander. I really like this art. It's really nice. The sky. Evie, give me that Charizard, baby. Not too. How do you do? We got that Shansy, still no Charizard, and just a regular Hollow. Not too bad, we still got more packs to go. Let's not get discouraged yet. But yeah, I mean, like this card for example, I mean that's an older set, but my girlfriend loves Ditto, so we got that from a card shop. I mean, some cards itself are sometimes are just worth buying them, you know, because I mean, you can still pull that if you have some old vintage packs, you know. And that is way better than buying it, right? But it's kind of hard to do that nowadays, you know. Sometimes you just want that card and you just go and get it. Nothing wrong with that. So we got another cold card right here. Give me something good right here. I'll feel it. This is one of the good packs. We got that. Lightning energy, Luna Tune, Chansey taking a little nap. That's what I'm gonna do after this video. No more. 
Lolan Radicate. Give me that charger. Come on. You know what? I just gotta stop thinking about it and it's just gonna appear by itself. That's how it works. Not too. Ooh, Tyranitar Reverse. Not too bad. Ooh, <laughs> double Tyranitar. Look at that. That's awesome. Go ahead and put those right there. How many packs do we still have? Two, four, six packs to go. We still got a few to go. But yeah, let me know what got you into Pokemon. Was it as well? Like all these YouTubers that open in all these vintage packs. Like they're worth a dollar when in reality they're freaking expensive. Like yo, Pokerib just be opening packs like, n like nothing. Like if it's a freaking piece of gum, it's just like oh just another gum. Oh just another gum. Like bro. Sometimes I'm like bro I hate this dude. <laughs> Get to open all these badass packs. I'm over here struggling to get a freaking mini tin because hey they're expensive nowadays i wish it was back to, like those days where pokemon was like in clearance right because nobody was really into pokemon for a while i'm not saying nobody would buy it right but people would still buy it, but not as much as today i feel like they're really overpriced and a lot of people are just doing it to resell and to like oh like to mint 10 you know like just doing it for the what their value is and not really what the value is for yourself you know but we got that slow bro lunatune normal alolan radicate tranquil larvitar oh we see a little something good creeping in the background come on oh metal metal b i thought it was a freaking alternative art mewtwo Come in and say hello. Welcome in him to the family. But we got that melt, melt metal. Damn, dude, my tongue really gets stuck. I don't think I have this card. Well, I might have it. I might. So far, honestly, it's not too great. <laughs> Technically, how many, many tents have we opened? Let me see. Two, four, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. We've opened what? Two mini tins already? This one's about to be three mini tins. This one's the good one, right? It's always the second pack hiding the good cards. I'm manifesting. This is the call of the day right here. This is the good pack. This is the chunky one hiding the goodies. There's a cool card. Four from the back. Let me know. Do you guys do four from the back? Or what is the card trick y'all do? I know like Breaking Aid does four and then like two. I don't know. It's a little confusing. But we got that water energy. Some people just go straight up like ba 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 ba. Don't even. They don't even look at the other cards. They just go straight to the pool. I just like to add suspense to it. You know what I'm saying? We got that unfessant flying through with that tranquil. Charmander, Eevee, Natu, come on, oh, hiding a Blastoise, another Blastoise, hey, we still don't have that many hits for all those tents we got, and I got all the left side, so, maybe that, that mid is wrong, or maybe my Walmart provider sucks, <laughs> he ain't bringing the hits to my Walmart, we're getting all the bad, all the bad, Freaking tents. We got another. We got how many more? Ooh, we actually got four more. Counting this one. Three more. I feel like I'm flying through this opening. Alright. Here we are. Go card for that one. Go ahead and throw it. One, two, three, four. Alright. This one is water energy. Chancy. Also, Leon Hart, like, yo, I want to do Guess the Energy, too, but I feel like I can't because my boy is, like, patent Guess the Energy, Leon Hart. <laughs> like, yo, let some other people guess the energy, brother. Come on now, Steelix. Set to that Slowpoke. Apome. Larvitar. Also, I pronounced some of these wrong. Bear with me. Spin a rack. Oh, I thought it was a damn Charizard. Turn me and hiding a... Oh. Come on now. I'll leave the Charmeleon there for good luck. Yo, so far we don't have that many good hits, man. 
I feel like for this set, like for all the hits it has, like I'm not even close to all the packs I've opened. At this point, I might as well just start buying them individually, man. <laughs> we got that other pack. We got three more. Let me know what's your favorite set that you've opened. I think what started it for me was Sword and Shield itself from Family Dollar and Steam Siege because that's all I would get. <laughs> I didn't really know how to get packs because Walmart really didn't have stuff for me. So I would just go to Family Dollar and get the packs from there. So I was just getting some Steam Siege knowing that actually that one's not so good for, for pulls. But my first hit that I actually got myself, I think it was the, the Marnie from Sword and Shield. That one kind of started it. We got that Candela, Charmeleon. Clear module. I mean, I bought some other cards at the flea market, like f from a binder, from like a kit, but they're all beat up. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are like, I'm trying to get by myself like this. And we got that. Ooh, Venusaur. God damn, we got two packs. Which one is gonna. For all those damn mini tents, like, I feel like we gotta get something better. Like, this is. This is harsh. I'm still enjoying it though. Just chatting. Got two packs. I feel like I'm gonna leave this one for the end. That's the one containing the goodies. And if this one's the one containing the goodies, I just have bad luck. Cause I'd be choosing the wrong damn wrong packs. And that just goes to show that the left side it's not necessarily all the hits. It's not necessarily all the hits. Here we are. As long as I get one more hit, I'll be satisfied. Just to end the video. Right here, fighting energy, because I'm about to throw some fists with that Walmart. Buying all these damn packs. Nothing good. I got two of them from GameStop, so it's bias. Boba, so maybe those hits were <laughs> from GameStop. Not even Walmart. Alolan Radicate. Larvitar. Tranquil, let's do it. Do it no Snorlax hiding up. Oh Gallardos bruh No hits God damn Even from that other box I bought from the team Instinct I think that one had better hits than all these mini tins That just goes to show maybe mini tins are not so good It's all luck at the end of the day Look at this You literally only have one hit which is a metal metal what? Literally spent like fifty dollars. That's like a whole ETB. Last pack magic. Is this one gonna pay up for all those freaking mini tins we bought? All those Pikachu coins. Come on now. Last pack magic. Let's go ahead and do with this one. Anticipate. The suspense. Here we are. Anticipate the suspense. The last pack magic. Come on now. Give me that fire energy. <sighs> Lightning. Here we are. Are we gonna finish with a babanga? Shansy. Spark. Get that spider boy. A Melton. Bob the Builder. Charmander, Monkey Boy, making a mess. Bulbasaur, give me something good. Come on, Pitiv, come on. No, no freaking Radiant Charizard. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna go ahead and freaking buy the card. I swear. Hide in a Dragonite V. Damn it, I already have this one. But come on now. We really finished it off. I mean, we're finishing off with a hit, right? But come on, we can't sit here and be like, for all those, the 10 collection, that we're really just gonna get a freaking Mel Metal V and a Dragonite V. That's literally my mood right now. I'm about to throw it down with this desk. Look at this. What? Not even a diddle? 
But anyways, that just goes to prove the theory that some days I like Pokemon packs. You don't get any good thing, but you keep buying cards. You know, you got to keep moving forward and look for another day. Look for that V-Star, the V-Max, that Radiant Charizard. Anyways, that's going to conclude this video. Remember, like, subscribe if you like this kind of content. We're on the road for a thousand subscribers. I would like for you guys to join the family, you know. Hopefully, we can reach a thousand subscribers. Do a big Pokemon giveaway, so stay tuned for that. But for that, make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate the support, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.